Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And uh, this is actually some uh, Modern Warfare 2 gameplay that I got um, fairly recently, I believe. I uh, was playing some um, MW2 with uh, some of my friends just for funsies because, um, well, quite frankly, this was the game that got me into FPS gaming and uh, PC gaming in general uh, two years back when it first came out, and um, we had a lot of good times uh, before it all just got down to noob tubing and, uh, you know, one-man one army noob tubes and um, all that other bullshit. But um, before that, when the good times were rolling, this was a really fun game. So we occasionally go back and play some Modern Warfare 2 just for old times' sake and uh, have a bit of fun, really. So um, this commentary is the first commentary I'm doing after the uh, love letter to Russian Badger video that I did um, a few days back, and uh, <laughs> I got a lot of different reactions to that uh, that a video. Uh, I even got a comment asking if I was gay, and. Um, <laughs> I find it a little funny, to be quite honest. Oh, pain um, that painkiller. Um, so just to answer it in a um, in a serious manner, no, I'm not gay. It was meant as a just as a joke and uh, a, a funny movie. And um, if people don't, if take it, people took it seriously, <laughs> I, I laugh at you guys. I mean. It's not meant to be anything serious. It's just a joke, and it's just a, a, an over exaggeration of how I feel about Russian Badger. Because, to be quite honest, I'm a really big fan of his. He makes awesome videos, and he's one of those commentators. I always, always watch his video videos because I just really enjoy them, and it's just kind of an extension of that kind of feeling that I was kind of trying to just, uh, I don't know how to put it, kind of, I don't know, par parody or something like that, I, I don't know, but that's that's the gist of it, so um, if you, if you thought it was horrible, <laughs> well then go ahead, I mean, it was meant as something funny and nothing else, and nothing else. Other than that, there's um, there's a couple of things that I kind of want to cover. Uh, as you might know, the Battlefield 3 beta is coming up soon. I am looking forward to that a lot. And it's going to be fun to test out Battlefield 3. And uh, see how it holds up to um, what expectation, expectation, expectations, what expectations that I have for the, uh, for the game. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun. And apart from that, I'm also going to, yeah, I'm going to be making some uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos. And you say what you want, but I'm going to have some fun with that game. I mean, it's not going to be the same enjoyable experience as I have with Battlefield 3, because, you know, it's Battlefield 3 is going to be like a good book that you sit down and read over a stretch of time, and it's really enjoyable, while Modern Warfare 3 is like a... Uh, you know, a, a typical action movie that you sit down and watch with your friends just to have something fun to watch uh, and, um, you know, just to have be entertained for a little while, I guess. So, um, I'm going to make some Modern Warfare 3 videos. It looks to be Modern Warfare 2.5, as um, D. Crew Colin calls it, and, um, you know, I I'm going to have some fun with it, just to be honest. And I'm probably going to make some videos from it. And if you can't handle that, then too bad for you. I mean, this channel primarily has Battlefield Bad Company 2 content on it, content on it and um, you know, that's the game that I play the most, but I enjoy other games too, and um, I'm going to publish videos from those games that I'm playing. It's going to be a fair presentation of what I actually play when I sit down and play games especially multiplayer games, not necessarily the single-player ones, but, you know, that's the fact and that's how it is, so, um, 
<laughs> if you can't handle that, then it's too bad for you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I thought that um, I, I thought uh, that I mentioned that because some of you might get upset if I, you know, publish a lot of the MW3 videos all of a sudden, and that might just be because I might be playing that game at that moment uh, or in that time span and having a lot of fun with it and yeah that's pretty much the reason why I might publish a lot of more War for 3 content or I might up end up hating the game and not playing it at all so um yeah <laughs> well um that's really all I wanted to cover you guys uh you know I um I, I thought I'd make some commentaries. Uh, it's not that I feel that I have to make them for you, but you know you've kind of subbed to me, and I've actually gotten a question where where it's like, why haven't you uploaded anything for uh, for a while? Look at that pink color. It's just such a game-breaking feature. I'm glad it's gone in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, as I said. I, I I haven't been feeling really been feeling like making videos. I made the Russian Badger love letter, and um, apart from that, I haven't had much time to actually make these videos between school, friends, and uh, just actually playing games. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the game is uh, coming to an end here. We just need two kills to get the win. <laughs> actually, end up go uh, running out of ammo. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope to see you next time, Snackis.